Hello, I'm Linda Monk and I'm going to show you today how I create surfaces using expander print and spun bond, which you'll probably know as Lutridur. It's a polyester spun bonded fabric which reacts to heat. What I do to create surfaces such as these, these lacy fragments, is I print the expander print onto my spun bond. I generally use a Thermofax screen, but you get really good results from a mask, a stencil, you can make your own stencils, your own masks, and the thing is to get the expander print onto your Lutrida as thinly as possible. If it goes on too thick, when you heat it up, it, you lose all definition of your pattern. So I start with my screen, or my mask, and I put a really generous amount of expander print along the top. Now this does look like I'm being rather extravagant, but you'll see that a lot of it does go back into the pot. So I start off with a nice generous amount. And using an old credit card, you can use a squeegee, but I prefer a credit card. Keep your credit card at an angle and push the expander print through the screen or the mask or the stencil. And you can see how much goes back into the pot. Now with the expander print, any equipment you use, it needs to be washed immediately after use. There's my design on my spun bond. And as I said, the equipment needs to be washed immediately after use. So what I do is I get a piece of kitchen towel, kitchen roll, and I clean my screen off, and therefore getting even more expander print to put back in the pot. And not only that, you've also then got a print on your kitchen towel. And then what I do is I tape my spun bond to a heat board just to hold it in place and then I heat it with a heat gun. This expands the expander print and melts the Lutridur back again. You need to hold your gun steady and direct it at the expander print and just move it slowly along and you'll see the expander print is expanding and the loop there is melting away and you carry on like that until you've done as much as you'd like to do and you'll end up with nice lacy fragments such as these which you can then mount onto helmet violin and colour to make postcards You can colour this with any medium you like really. You could use silk paints, brosho, procyon dyes. Obviously they're paler than what they are on fabric, but you can still get a good result. And something else I like to do, before I print on my spun bond, I lay a piece of scrim, cotton scrim, over the top. And then print through both surfaces. And then I use my mask or my Thermofax screen to print through both surfaces. That way, you get a print on your scrim, you get one on your spun bond, and then of course, one on your kitchen towel. So that's three prints for the price of one.